Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best USB hubs. Starting at number 5. Ugreen Revotic Pro. Most laptop docking stations are bulky gadgets that often require a power source, but this one from Ugreen straddles the line between dock and hub. It has a small, braided cable running to a relatively large aluminum block. It's a bit hefty but still compact, and it packs a lot of extra power. It has three USB ports, one USB-C and two USB-A, that each reached up to 900 megabytes per second of data transfer speeds in my testing. That was enough to move large amounts of 4K video footage in minutes. The hub also has enough ports to connect to a full, multi-monitor desktop setup, not to mention other peripherals like a keyboard and mouse, even some headphones. It's the best option before upgrading to a full docking station. Coming at number 4. Satechi USB-C. Wouldn't it be nice if the USB hub you carry around had some storage of its own? This one from Satechi can, sort of, do that with its M.2 solid-state drive enclosure. Open the panel on the back and you can slot in an internal SSD card and access it whenever you plug the hub into your computer. It's incredibly handy and I wish more USB hubs and docks had it. Just know that the M.2 SATA SSD is not included. One terabyte drives like this one from Western Digital or this one from Samsung will do the job. The SSD can reach up to 5 gigabits per second, but the USB-A 3.1 ports are even faster. In my testing, they reached speeds of 880 megabytes per second, or roughly 7 gigabits per second. Put it all together and you could plug in several storage options and move all your data around incredibly fast. To top it all off, it has the same aluminum chassis as Satechi's other accessories, giving it a premium feel. At number 3. Anchor USB-C. This Anchor USB hub is the one I carry in my camera bag everywhere. It plugs into the USB-C port on your laptop and provides every connection you'd need to offload photos or videos from camera gear. In my testing, the USB 3.0 ports reach transfer speeds over 400 megabytes per second, which isn't quite as fast as some USB hubs on this list, but it's solid for a sub-$50 device. Similarly, the SD card reader reached speeds of 80 megabytes per second for reading and writing, which isn't the fastest SD cards can get, but adequate for moving files back and forth. Number 2 of my list. Monoprice 5 inches. If all you need is a couple of extra USB ports, specifically USB-A, this Monoprice 5-in-1 model does the trick for a super low price. It connects via USB-C and adds three USB-A ports to your machine, each of which reached about 400 megabytes per second in my testing. That was more than enough for most typical work tasks, and even worked for moving around video files. You can use the USB-C port on the end to pass through charge your laptop, the hub supports up to 100 watts, which is plenty to keep the most power-hungry laptops charged, with the right wall adapter. It's one of the cheapest hubs I've tested, and if you're traveling with it, you might want to keep it in a padded pocket. The plastic case feels smooth and lightweight in a way that borders on flimsy. And number 1. Satechi USB-C. Satechi makes some of the nicest accessories I've held, and this hub is no exception. It's built from the same aluminum as the rest of Satechi's gear with a short, braided cable leading to a USB-C connector. It's designed to feel at home next to a MacBook Pro or Surface laptop and nails that vibe. This hub has several USB-C ports and conveniently labels them by their maximum speed. In my testing, I consistently got speeds of 850 to 900 megabytes per second on its fastest USB-C ports, and there's a fourth that can reach over 400 megabytes per second. Even if you're like me and regularly need to transfer hundreds of gigabytes of 6K footage, it can handle those hefty tasks in minutes. It also has an HDMI port that supports up to 8K video at 30 frames per second FPS, though this is overkill. The real benefit of this capable port is that it's capable of 4K video at up to 120 frames per second or 1080p at up to a whopping 240 frames per second. 
I test gaming laptops, and this is one of the few hubs that can keep up with the frame rate demands for powerful games when I connect them to an external monitor. The downside is that it lacks USB-A ports. It's quite future-facing in that way, and there are enough USB-C accessories and peripherals these days that it might not be an issue, but we have more options below if the older USB-A port is a must-have. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.